You know, some of us picked up some bad habits during the pandemic, and that includes smoking. Mm. Cigarette sales have increased for the first time in 20 years. Now, if you want to quit, and we all know you should, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon explains how a new study underway right here in Nashville could help. Stressful times tend to lead toward more smoking behavior. As the pandemic peaked, so did the number of people lighting up. But smokers and doctors know starting is a lot easier than stopping. You have to learn to get off of cigarettes. There's all kinds of pitfalls, and what it takes to get around those pitfalls varies a bit from person to person. You kind of have to find your own path through it. Dr. Stephen Sharp hopes the results of a new nationwide study at Clinical Research Associates in Nashville will help. He is working to enroll thousands of smokers who will receive either a placebo or a drug, cystinicline, that's already on the market in some countries. It's derived from a plant and they uh, at least expected to have a better side effect profile than some of the drugs on the market. Participants will come to the clinic once a week for 12 weeks and log their progress. They must be generally healthy and motivated. I don't care how good a drug is, the number one factor is the person's intent to quit above all else. Dr. Sharp says quitting reduces a person's risk of developing heart disease and cancer. He hopes the study can produce a long-term solution that helps people live healthier lives. Every additional means to help folks get off of cigarettes to me is, is a good thing. If this proves to be successful, then it's great to have another tool in your toolbox. Adults who smoke at least 10 cigarettes a day and have tried quitting before are eligible to participate in the trial. For more information on how to enroll as well as requirements and compensation, just check out this story on newschannel5.com. Reporting in Nashville, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.